this year is running away with me. I can't believe the shooting season is nearly over here at Audley End House. On shoot days, the guns prefer to have a big breakfast and then a brief but hearty lunch. This pie is a spectacular way of using up pigeons and is ideal for a shooting lunch. For this recipe, you will need pigeon breasts, mushrooms, truffles, quail's eggs, salt, pepper, cloves and mace, herbs as you choose, port or madeira, whiskey, stock with some melted gelatine, pastry and for the force meat veal mince cooked ham and breadcrumbs I've already greased my mould so firstly I need to line it with some pastry Unlike light pastries for tarts, this needs to stand on its own, so it needs to be well worked. Don't roll out your pastry, for that makes for weak sides. Cut off any excess and put it to the side for the top. Shooting lunches often happen far away from the home, so food needs to be packaged and then transported. There, now for the filling. There are many recipes for force meat. I'm using quite a simple one that has veal, ham, and breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to line my pie. Now I'm ready to layer in the rest of my ingredients, starting with the mushrooms. And now some pigeon breasts. Some of the herbs, and I have parsley, thyme and sage few of the truffles, a little of the spice, a few quail's eggs, and now repeat.
And now to add the liquid. I'm now rolling out the rest of the pastry to make the lid. not forgetting to make an air hole for the steam. Marianne has already cut me out some nice leaves. Decorating the top of pies is very popular. There. And as it's a pigeon pie, I should just add some feet. There. It's ready for the oven for about an hour and a half. A practically perfect pigeon pie. I let the pie cool and then poured in some stock with a little gelatine. And now it's ready to be served. I'm going to serve it with a bed of watercress. And there you have it, pigeon pie. Perfect for a cold lunch.